The bill to lower the legal blood alcohol level is dead in the legislative session. But today, the goal is to keep people alive, meaning don't rely on luck to get home for this St. Patrick's Day. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson joins us live in Tacoma from I-5 with more. Buzz driving is drunk driving. So here in Pierce County and across the state, law enforcement agencies are doing emphasis patrols to track down drunk drivers. Of all the deadly crashes on the roads in 2022, Washington Traffic Safety Commission says more than half of them involved impairment from drugs and alcohol. Drunk driving collisions are totally preventable. Senator John Levick sponsored a bill to lower the blood alcohol concentration level from 0 0.08 to 0 0.05 in Washington. Though the bill did not pass legislation, he says people don't need a change in the law to make responsible decisions. It is totally unacceptable to drink and drive. You know, drunk driving is a choice. You can make the choice. There are so many other opportunities to, to get home. With St. Patrick's Day being the third most popular holiday to drink, Levick is reminding people about the dangers of drunk driving. Remember, when you're on a two-lane roadway, in many cases, death is only eight inches away. That person could cross that center line by eight inches and there's a head-on collision. Would you want that person driving with you in that community? Troopers with Washington State Patrol say they anticipate arresting drunk drivers on this St. Patrick's Day, especially since it's on a Friday this year. WSP says when this holiday is on a weekend, DUI arrest numbers are significantly higher. Like in 2017 on a Friday, WSP made 81 DUI arrests statewide. In 2018 on a Saturday, there were 93. And in 2019 Sunday, there were 65. Much higher than those numbers from 2020 to 2022 were St. Patrick's Day following Tuesday through Thursday. Troopers and law enforcement agencies across the state will have extra officers on the roads using emphasis patrols and mobile impairment driving units to catch drunk drivers. If they make those bad decisions that we can stop them before something bad happens. For Trooper Robert Ryer serving District 1, it's not just this holiday that compels him to protect and serve. For him, it's much more personal. I worked in the medical field before and I saw many people who were killed or severely hurt by other people uh, who made those bad decisions and so for me and for my co-workers it is of utmost importance to be out there and prevent people from getting injured today or even worse get killed because of somebody's bad decision. WSP says there will be a DUI checkpoint here in Pierce County tonight. Those arrested for DUI could face jail time and a fine up to $10,000. Reporting live in Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News. Frankie.